our next exercise looks at ways of displaying content on our web page. We'll look at how we can include tables into our web page and how we can style those tables using Bootstrap's classes for styling tables, including responsive design of tables. We'll also look at another versatile component that is available in Bootstrap called as a cart. A card allows you to display content in myriads of ways. So we'll look at two different ways of using a card to display content. Later on, we will see the use of cards again and again for future designs of certain parts of our website. To get started, open the aboutus.html page. We're going to insert a table and two cards into the aboutus.html page to display some content. First, let's slowly scroll down until after the corporate leadership information. And right there, I'm going to introduce another div within which I'm going to enclose the table here. So uh, I will introduce a new row here with the classes row, row, content. And inside this div, we will introduce a column that will host the table here. So uh, I will introduce a column with column 12, column SM9. And close that div. And inside the div, let me give a heading here, facts and figures and close the H2 and, uh, and right after that, let me introduce a, another div with the classes column SM and column SM3 and close off that div there. Right now we're going to leave the second div empty. I'm going to fill in uh, the table into the first div here and then we'll take a quick look at the table after I add in the code for the table. So here I have pasted in the code for the table. Let's take a quick look at the table and then we'll come back to discuss this um, code here. Going to our about page that we already have uh, been working on from earlier. After the corporate leadership section, you see a new row here introducing the table here. So note how the table is styled. So we have the um, header with an H2 included there, but let's concentrate specifically on this table. So you see that this table has been styled using some bootstrap classes that are used to enhance the table. The header has been uh, rendered with a dark background, and then the rows are all designed in such a way that alternate rows are in different color um, so that you can clearly distinguish the rows of this table. This is what in bootstrap terms is referred to as striped table. Uh, this is one example of how you can style a table. Now, interestingly, if you look at the same table in a small device, you would notice that the table is still visible, except that this table now becomes scrollable. So whatever can be displayed within the content will be shown, and the rest of the table can be scrolled horizontally in place. So this is the responsive component of Bootstrap's support for tables in action. Now let's go and take a look at the code itself. Now obviously this table is fairly straightforward. It has a bunch of rows and some columns. So you'd be expecting me to use the typical THTD and TR 
um, tags there. Switching back to the code, you notice that I am enclosing this table inside a div to which I have uh, applied the class table responsive. So this is what makes this table responsive so that on smaller screens you can horizontally um, scroll the table. Now, for the table itself, notice how I have applied two classes. One is the table class. So this is um, overriding the default table rendering on browsers by providing Bootstrap's own classes here. And the second one says table stripe. So this is what um, designs the table with alternate rows in different colors here. Then the head itself. So you can see that the head is described here with the class T head dark. So this renders the head dark. And then you see the uh, table um, row itself described here with the TH tags here. So this is standard table definition here. The body of the table itself is standard HTML use of TR and TD and TH elements that you that you are already familiar with HTML5. So this is what uh, the table is constructed with. And then you close the table body. So that's about it. So we all that is unique about Bootstrap itself is the application of these specific Bootstrap classes to the table um, um, element itself to style it further to fit into our Bootstrap designed web page. The next component that I'm going to add into the about us.html page is a card component in Bootstrap. The card component allows us to display content by setting it apart from the rest of the content. Now here, scrolling to the first row um, here where we have our history, in the second div, you notice that the first div is already occupying column SM6. The second div is currently empty. So to this div, I will add in the class as column SM. Thereafter, going into this div, I will introduce another div with the class card here. So inside this div, I'm going to build up my card to display some content here. So in this div, we will introduce a h3 with the class as card header bg primary. So you see that this h3 will be displayed as a card header with the background as primary and then text white, which bootstrap class will define the text to be white in color. And then inside this h3, I'm going to introduce the title for this card here, which is facts at a glance, so that I can show some content inside this div here. Now, uh, to this card, next, I'm going to add in another inner div here with the class as card body. And inside this card body, will be the actual content that will be displayed in this card. It's Let's awesome. save the changes and then go and have a look quickly at our web page. Going to our web page, we can already see the card taking shape in our web page. So you can see that the left half is occupied by the history and the right half, you see the card put into place. Let's add some content into this card. Going into this card block, now I'm going to use a description list. And this description list in Bootstrap allows me to apply the row and column classes to it and thereby format the content inside. So inside this description list, I'm going to add in the DT with the class and column six here. So meaning that this is going to occupy 
six columns inside this description list, which itself is a row here. So nesting, as you see, coming into picture here. So uh, to this DT, I am going to add in, so the disc description title here, and then uh, below that, I will add in the DD with the class call six here, and then I can add in some content here. And DD here. Let's save the changes and take a quick look at our cart. Going to our cart, you can now see how the description list allows me to display um, information inside my cart. You can see the um, left side and the right side clearly displayed. Here, we are taking advantage of the description list and adding in the information there. Let me finish up the remaining parts in here by adding in the code and then come back and take a look at the final version of this cart. Here you can see that I have completed adding in the remaining parts of my description list. Let's go and take a quick look at our final version of that cart. Taking a look at the card and how it has taken shape here, you can now see how we can make use of a card to display some content in our web page and set it apart from the rest of the content in the web page. So a card is a very versatile component that allows us to display content like this. Let's continue with this exercise, adding in another card to this web page. Let's now again go back to our about us.html page and right below the card that we have already added previously, I'm going to add in another div with with the class call 12 here. And then inside this div, I'm going to construct another um, card here to display some additional information. So inside this div, I will construct a card with the class card card body bg light. So uh, you see that I am applying both the card and the card body to the same div here. So which means that this particular card is not going to have any card header, but instead just contains the card body here. And then also the beach light means that the background will be in faded color. So a um, somewhat of a grayish color um, added to the background. So this also sets this card apart from the rest of the content here. Now inside this card, I'm going to make use of a block code to display some information, some interesting little funny piece of information there. So I will use a block code. This is also, again, a HTML um, tag here. And then to this, I will apply the block code class of Bootstrap. So Bootstrap styles this block, block code in its own way. And uh, so let's close up the block code. And inside this block code, I'm going to in include a quotation here. So I will start with a P and apply a class called MB0. And the MB0 is a utility class that um, Bootstrap provides. What this means is margin bottom zero. So for this particular, whatever is included in this P tag will have a bottom margin of zero. And this helps me to display the content correctly here. So um, here I'm going to add in the actual content there. and then close this P. So this P contains the actual quotation. Now to this quotation, so you, you see that in your content, you can also include uh, 
quotations uh, in your uh, code there. So to this, I can also add a footer with the class. So let me push the footer indentation. So this footer is also a class that block quote uh, supports. So whatever you include in the block quote will, together with the footer, will enable you to display the author of this quotation. So here I am including uh, the author and then one more using the site I can even cite the source of this quotation. So you can see that Again, this is just some quotation that I'm using just for just for fun to show you also at the same time illustrating how the block quote works and also how we can create another kind of card in Bootstrap. So with this, we have added in the code for displaying the block code here. So let me save the changes and then we'll go and take a look at how this quotation is displayed in our web page. Going to the browser, in our, our page, you can see that our history and the facts at a glance are displayed side by side. Down below that, I have this long piece of content here. Let's have a look at the same page in a uh, extra small screen. So in an extra small screen, you can see that the history and the facts are stacked on top and the quotation is right down below here in its own card. So you can see two cards, one below the other here. And then the table itself displayed at the bottom. So the table itself is a scrollable table here. So with this, we complete this exercise. So in this exercise, we learned about how we can use tables and cards for displaying content in our web page. Now that we have completed this exercise, it's a good time to do a git commit.